Hi everyone, I'm Elias Zverev. Uh, and this is not my GitHub, uh, as it was um, uh, three years ago. So you see, uh, uh, there is matrix of activity when you made some uh, contributions to GitHub, and there is a streak, uh, which means the number of days you have mapped uh, consecutively without uh, gaps. This is Pascal's How Did You Contribute page. It also has matrix of activity, but it is missing one thing. Uh, doesn't matter what. So when I saw this, uh, I thought, wouldn't be, wouldn't it be great to have a completely filled activity back? To <laughs> so uh, for that, I needed to map every day. And how do uh, I make myself map every day? Well, first option is to find somebody to whack me with, with a stick when I don't map. Uh, and there is an, another option to give myself virtual points when I send the change set. Of course, uh, the second option is better. Uh, so I built OSM Streak. OSM Streak uh, is a website that gives you virtual points when you submit a change set. And when you submit uh, many change sets for several days straight, it gives you more, even more points. Like if you submit for a month, consecutively, then you get five points for each. Also, there are levels, uh, some also virtual levels, like uh, when you map for three weeks straight, straight, you get to level three, and you get some more tasks and more stars. Right. Uh, of course, you could uh, just map one building each day and be done with it. But to make things more interesting, I added uh, tasks. Every day you get some rand random task uh, that uh, uh, asks you to use MapsMe to map 20 buildings to improve a coastline and so on. There are around 30 tasks in the project. And uh, the higher your level, the more different tasks you get. For a task, you get an extra point and nothing more. So how did it go? At first, I was mapping every day. And you have seen on my activity graph that some part of it is filled. I missed some days, which means I got back to one point per change set a couple times. And then I got tired of it. <laughs> so it's happened. it turns out uh, virtual points don't work all the time. But they work half the time. Good enough. What about other users? Uh, Around 400 users registered in OSM Streak. Around 100 got to level two, which means uh, uh, a week of editing, and less and less. Top users is almost at 100 and 1,500 points, uh, but recently he lost his streak. Uh, so instead of getting 15 points for each change set, now he gets one. So I think he is very disappointed, or she. Uh, this is a chart for top 40 users, how they participate. So you can see some users join and map, map, map all the way. Some users get tired very quickly. And there are different patterns. Like blue bars are where users uh, complete tasks. And you see at the top some users that complete every task. These are languages. Uh, site is translated to multi multiple languages. Most users use. English, of course, but uh, the next uh, popular language is Japanese, for some reason. And uh, me being me, some tasks are uh, rather strange, like a task uh, that urges you to um, send a change set uh, with a simple word fix in the comment, or a task that makes you map uh, both in child and in Kamchatka in the same change set which has got uh, quite a lot of issues with OSM change set analyzer forks. So I have some ideas on how to make uh, my streak longer and maybe more firmer, like uh, uh, automatically uh, look for change set that are submitted without me visiting the site. It's not very good because uh, I can find in three years that I finally go to level five, even f forgetting about OSM streak. And I'd like to be more involved. I could uh, partner with humanitarian team to use tasks from them, but they have very big tasks. Uh, right. 
uh, I could uh, add uh, a lot more levels, like uh, one for every week, draw some pretty pictures and stuff. Uh, I could use experience from polymappers who did advent calendar this December and make it some kind of OSM tutorial and so on. So I am open to suggestions. If you have any thoughts, please contact me. Thanks.